Hi, I'm Bill Eater, General Manager of Cunis Buick GMC here in Greenfield. And today we're doing a Cunis Car Convo with Devin from the Tishkin Lake Lions Club. We're going to be talking about the annual charity car show on August 25th. There's some awesome things and we'll cover that as we're driving. Today we'll be driving a brand new, body styled, completely redesigned 2024 Buick Envision ST. <laughs> So I think we're rolling. Hi. Hi. I'm Bill, like you just met. This is Devin. Um, we know Devin also from Mander Collision and, Ga and Glass, but what is your role with the Tishkin Lions Club? So with the Tishkin Lake Lions Club, I run the car show, uh, sit on the car show committee board with, with two other great guys. My uh, main role is uh, sponsorship and social media for our car show kids and our Tishkin uh, charity car show. Nice. And we are thrilled to be helping and partnering out with this, um, the car show and the charity part of it. Um, I know what we've all kind of jumped in with, but why don't you kind of explain how this uh, event works? Yeah, so how this event, uh, event works is uh, Cunis donated the motor for our engine raffle tickets. And 100% of the proceeds from our engine raffle tickets go to our car show kids. And this year we have three car show kids that we sponsored. Uh, last year we had two and we had an amazing turnout. Uh, so this year we are trying to go bigger and better and with the help of Cunis, we have no cost to make up whatsoever. Uh, so the club is uh, forever grateful just to give everything directly to the kids right off the bat. And do you, do you know the stories on these kids? So uh, we have three kids, uh, Riley, she has a uh, impairment where she will most likely end up deaf by the time she's 10. We have a child, uh, Grant, who is suffering from leukemia. And then we have Chase, who is uh, wheelchair bound. So obviously there's a lot of uh, medical costs and everything else for the families in these cases like that. Yes. And absolutely. stuff for the kids. So um, it's great just to be able to provide a little bit of relief or a little bit of assistance. Yep. Yep, everything we do is, is to help uh, with either their medical bills. Uh, the Lions Club also sets up a uh, trust for, for every child as well. Uh, that awesome. So all the funds going to, to the trust for the kids, uh, that's 100% covered by the club as well. So we take really good care of our, our car show kids. That's awesome. How did you guys How did you guys come up with this? How long have you, how long have you been um, having this type of charity for the car show? But this is our 19th year. This is the 19th annual, so it's been going on for, for a very long time before I was even a Lion. I've only been a Lion for about two years now. Awesome. Um, and as soon as I, I learned about the, the car show, it's, it's my passion and what I really give my, my time and my effort into to throwing in and uh, really a good cause, uh, seeing that I also work in the auto industry a little bit. Yep. Um, so everything I do is, is for the, the car show. How many people does this reach? The car show, we, we start right away with engine raffle tickets. Uh, we started at World of Wheels uh, this year and throughout the year we go to many different car shows and events uh raising tickets we also push on uh, social media all our sponsors in the show um last year was the largest year and we had over 1500 show cars the day of wow. so if we have great weather this year people have started reaching out to us people are learning more about our cause and, and what we actually do and what we give to to our car show kids i mean i would imagine this year if we have great weather again 1700 1800 show cars so and how many people does that bring through i would say in a single day we have probably about fifteen thousand people Dang. throughout the day that's awesome that's awesome and then all these are you know we sell raffle tickets for this correct right to raise that money um do you remember how much money was raised last year for the kids so last year for two kids we raised sixty three thousand sixty three thousand sixty three thousand split two ways so that's awesome you know with any luck this year we can raise even more hopefully we're right on track to beat this uh to be last year we're still on track to do that so we've been doing a lot of work we have lines that 100 percent volunteer their time take away from their families to go out and sell raffle tickets we go to local businesses and, and drop off raffle raffle tickets and this year is a first the 
Marshall Kid families are actually helping sell raffle tickets. They 100% oh, cool. wanted to, to get involved and, and help each other. So that's awesome. Yeah. The event, obviously, we're talking a lot about it. It's about a month away, uh, August 25th, if I'm not yes. mistaken. Last Sunday in August. Last Sunday in August. Um, I'm assuming you guys start setting up for that. I mean, you've been prepping on it since last year, I, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. And uh, you start setting up early morning of the day of? Do you set up the night before? So we start setting up uh, some of the bigger things on Friday. A uh, couple days. A okay. couple days before. The main setup will be on Saturday, and then everything is pretty much ready to go. Uh, Lions will start getting to the park about 4, 4.30 in the morning, the day of the show, and they'll be there till 7 o'clock till everything's torn down. So That's awesome. That's awesome. And you guys just, it's just all volunteer. It's 100%, 100% volunteer. If you want to get involved, you can go to, to lionscharitycarshow.com. Uh, we have sign up on there for volunteers or contact us. Um, no one is compensated. It's 100% all volunteer. -ing. That's, you know, things that are right with this country. That's definitely what it is. Yes. That's lionscharitycarshow.com. Lionscharitycarshow.com? Yep, yep. lionscharitycarshow.com. Lionscharitycarshow.com. So there's still plenty of time to volunteer, I would assume. Oh, yeah. We have plenty of slots left to sign up. We have uh, bartending, kitchen slots, parking slots, uh, kid zone slots. Uh, we provide a 100% free kid zone with bounce houses and national guards there with rock climbing. And oh, dang and all sorts of stuff, 100% donated by everybody. So a lot more to do than just look at cars. Correct. Even though obviously you and I both love cars. Yep. yep. <laughs> no, that's fantastic. Um, and then people can donate or buy raffle tickets through the website too, I would guess. Yep, right on our website, you can buy the raffle tickets. You fill out the information. We will fill out the raffle tickets, the board does, and we, you will be entered in 100%. Um, uh, you also get a receipt of your purchase right off the website. Uh, we have sponsorship opportunities as well on the website for, for businesses or whoever. And you can also just, if you don't want a raffle ticket, you can also just donate to the families. Yeah, that's great. Now, and remind them, we talked about this engine. So that's what you're winning on the raffle, right? That's the main prize? Correct. The main prize is the ra is the, the motor. It's a Stroker 383 GM small block, uh, 450 horsepower. Uh, factory warranty comes with it as well. If you don't want the motor, we there's a cash option and the day of the show we do a live drawing of the raffle ticket uh we do not move on until we reach that that first winner because what happens is if you take the cash option we then do a live auction of the motor and last year that happened and we had a uh three people during the auction won the motor and donated it back right to the the lions club and it was an amazing sight to see with the kids right there. The kids will be at the show in the afternoon as well. That's just cool. Just some definitely generosity of spirit there for sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't get a much better cause than no, that. It doesn't get any better. You've got three kids with health issues that you're just trying to help out. So that's fantastic. Um, so that 383 stroker motor. I, did, I was there when it came in. Like this oh, yeah. brand new crate motor dropped off like... It, it wasn't cheap like it's the real deal so, yeah uh, it is it's the real deal it's set up we have it on a, a trailer it's all set up it runs starts so we have a couple of events left uh before the show where we will be at selling raffle tickets uh the next one coming up is the tishkin lines parade which is on july 28th the last sunday in july at 11 a.m. The motor will be there. The kids are going to be in the parade as well. Of course. Um, and we'll be walking along selling raffle tickets. We have Union Grove, which I believe is on August 10th. Don't quote me on that. But Union Grove uh, Highway 45 car show will be there as well. Okay. And then we have the, the big main car show. And the motor will be started up. And you'll hear you'll hear a roar. It's, it's a beautiful motor. Nice. Now, for those who don't know exactly where this is located, where exactly is this located? So the car show is located at Waterford Town Park. It is in the town of Waterford, but Tishkin Unincorporated. It is on highway, it's off of Highway 164, just south of Big Ben by about nine, seven or nine minutes, just south on 164. Uh, you'll see the signs um, and you just turn down the side road to the, sh to the park and, and there you are. Okay. so. For those, you know, if we're in Greenfield, and I think 
we're going to be in Franklin soon, so you know, greater Milwaukee area. Yep. How many minutes away is it from here? It's not that far. So from Cunis <clears throat> Greenfield, it's about 17 minutes. Yeah, so under 20 minutes. Yep, under yeah. 20 minutes from all your major your major cities. You know, Muskego is only 10 minutes away. Oh, nice. Um, you know, Franklin about 10, 10 12 minutes, but uh, well, yeah, so close to everything. So easy, easy to get to. Yes. Yeah. A lot of times, I know, and I have a lot of friends in, in Milwaukee. We go to church in Milwaukee. My mother-in-law's, you know, lives here. And a lot of times, uh, Milwaukee's such a large area that we don't always realize that there's a lot of things that are actually right. really close. Right. So 20 minutes away, 10 to 20, uh, yep. totally worth it. Easy drives, uh, less traffic as well. Yeah, less traffic. Uh, spectator parking also for the show is 100% free. We do ask for a donation. Um, and all those donations are going to be going to the kids as well. So, oh, perfect. Yep. So then there's rides and rock climbing. Is there rides? Uh, no rides, yeah, but we have climbing. the rock climbing, the bounce houses. There's uh, face bounce painting. Like a ride. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, there'll be face painting, and there's vendors and, and all sorts of stuff. So there's a lot more to do than just to see the, the cars. Um, there's uh, live music. We have a DJ in the morning. Uh, we do the national anthem at about 11. 11 or noon, and then uh, we have a live band, the Lunch Buddy Bullies, uh, that are a really, really good local band. They they shred up the stage from about noon to, to 3, um, or 11 to 3, and then we, uh, we do awards, and we do the live uh, check presentation and the drawing and, and all that. So it's an all-day thing. Like, what's a good time to get there? When, when you know, the cars are set up and everybody's ready to go by, somebody wants to come early? So a great time for spectators would be, like, 10 to 4 30 you're not there too early all the cars are still there um none of the cars are leaving yet uh then you also get to see the band you get to see the the kids the raffle pull um and the check uh check presentation okay perfect and so with the face painting are all the lions going to get their faces painted like flags i mean we'll we'll see what we can do this year i mean we'll we gotta you know step our game up so we might not uh, have to I no, mean, I wish this rule. was, sometimes I wish this was live with feedback. Like, wouldn't everybody want to see their faces yeah. painted like lines? Like, I don't know. Well, I would do that. A couple right. whiskers and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. 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 So yeah. That would be fun. That would be fun. Kids would love it. So, and it comes up fast. I know it's just a little over a month away. So, a month away, five weeks away or whatever. But uh, especially the way the summer's gone, like, it's going to be here by. quick. Plenty of time to get involved, donate. Know, buy the raffle tickets with the motor man I, I can think of a lot of cars that that motor would be great to drop in oh yeah there's i mean even even the people who aren't you know gm fans per se i mean we've had dodge guys swap out you know their motors we got you know ford guys we got everybody i mean everything goes to a great cause no matter what whether you're gm guy ford guy dodge guy whatever it is but um the gm motor it's 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 beautiful, it sounds great, and everything goes to those kids. And, and that's what we really try to focus on is everything that the Lions Club does, whether it's the car show or a different event, everything is going back to our local community. It's a 100% nonprofit organization, 100% donated time. Um, you know, and we got guys that have little kids that are there to, to give back to the cause. They volunteer their time, we take away from our families, and it's all for the number one cause and that's to give back to these kids or, or whatever uh that event is, is set up for how did you you said you've been a lion for two years now how did you hear about them or i mean everybody's kind of aware of what they are but not everybody knows what, yeah, what so goes on. so like how'd you jump in how i jumped in is um we had just moved into the area and uh we saw an event going on at the the clubhouse it was uh Think like a wine and craft show for for rate fundraising for something at the lions club so we just stopped in there to, to check the event out and i asked one of the lions that was uh helping behind the bar and food area and i said you know what is the lions club how do you become a member how do you you know what is it about and uh my sponsor who you have to be sponsored in order to get into our, our club um, told me, you know, what the Lions do and how everything goes back to our local community. It's, it's not, um, you know, given to huge, huge organizations. It goes right back into the heart of, of where that Lions Club is. And uh, Cooking that. What's your... that's really how I wanted to become part of the community and, and meet people and give back to the community that I actually live in. Um, 
rather than you know just giving to some kind of organization where hey it's what I'm doing actually going to to what that's supposed to be. So yeah, and this way you you like know hands on. Yeah, and hands on, hundred percent. I know exactly what's going on, where that money's going to. You see mm-hmm. everything. That's been a blessing to to actually see an organization who is true to their word mm-hmm. and uh, true and uh, follow through on their their actions, not just their their words. So and I'm guessing you've met the kids. Uh, I have not met the kids yet. Okay. So um, our show president Brett. <laughs> excuse me brad um has met the kids i have talked to the kids families i haven't met them in person yet um okay. we do uh an extensive vetting of the kids we every year um we take applications and that's how uh the kids are chosen is we, we collect the applications really starting in october november after the show is done and we uh go through all the applications um collected and we we vet the applicants and the families and um you know make sure everything is what it is and then uh we vote on it as a board um, okay. of who who we're going to sponsor this year i mean and we get we get a lot of applications and we can't sponsor everybody but we try to to be fair and, and you know go about things that way yeah i think it's impressive you know i i guess i assumed you met them because you knew their stories so quick yeah it's impressive that you know their stories that much without even actually meeting them in person that that's cool yeah, it's, you know, being being in charge of the sponsorships and being on, like, the show committee board or running the show, really, with, with uh, Brad and Tom, you really got to know because that's what people want to know is, is what am I giving to? What is what is the yeah. cause? Yeah. Um, you know, and what is this what is this all about? Have you thought of, like, before running into that, did you ever think about, oh, I want to be alive or join some club like that? It just kind of hit you. Never. It, spoke to work it, or... it just kind of hit me, you know. I mean, I, before getting into the auto industry, um, I was in law enforcement for eight and a half years, so I, I gave back that way. Yeah. Um, and I needed something t- to, to get involved in, especially in my community, to, to continue giving back, especially uh, to a cause uh, that's noble and good. And that's what really got me peaked in asking about, you know, what is the Lions? I've seen the Lions Club events and show yeah. corn roasts or whatever it is, yep. or parades, and it's like, what is this really about? And um, Lions International, it's the largest charity organization in the world. Wow. Um, not just, it's not just in Wisconsin, it is international um, in many countries and, and all over the U.S. That's amazing. And Lions have been around, I mean, as long as I can remember, and I'm clearly really older than you. Yeah, you know, that's great. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you know any of that? And not to put you on the spot, but do you know how long the Lions have been around? I know overall? that I, I don't know exactly what year uh, the Lions uh, Foundation or, or Lions Club was started. Um, 100%. So I, I don't want to say the wrong thing. So one of the things that we did uh, want to cover to jump back in was the food that's at the fair because we talked about you know hey let's be there from 10 10 30 till 4 4 35 what you eat because everybody know i like to eat right at the uh at the car show we will have uh multiple food trucks all different kinds you got barbecue you got italian beef um and then we also have the lion's kitchen which is going to be you know burgers brats hot dogs um and the kitchen again is 100 percent volunteer um all those proceeds also go to charity as well um and then throughout the grounds there's different areas to get drinks and different bar areas um also by the main pavilion by the band there's uh uh, games um auction silent auction there's raffles we'll have 50 50 raffles um but the food is something you will not want to miss you will not go hungry there is something for for everybody uh we do try to to really focus on food and make sure that we have all all areas covered um and there's always plenty plenty of food so you will not go hungry or thirsty at at the lions uh, charity car show i'll tell you that i'm hungry now <laughs> it is almost lunch it is you know and sometimes some of the best burgers and, and dogs and stuff like that are at like a lions oh yeah you know yep. coming in you guys are what, you're grilling i'm assuming freshly grilled everything is freshly made right right there at the kitchen nothing is pre-cooked we we rent a big you know um cooler semi and everything is is fresh freshly cooked there um and then again you have the food trucks who'll be whipping up their fresh fresh uh dishes again multiple different options so it'll be covered so if you come early enough 
you could eat at multiple places. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can eat at, like, 10.30 here, 11 o'clock here. Then you can have, like, you know, mid-afternoon snack at 1. And then and another snack at, like, 3 or 4. This is what I do, right? So, yep. And if for the morning, we do have uh, we do have DW Coffee, who is one of our, uh, oh, yeah. our sponsors. So they have, you know... They'll have their coffee, uh, you know, trailer set up. They got donuts and, you know, you know kind of your breakfast snacky stuff for, for the morning time. They're right in Rochester, aren't they? Yep, right down right, yeah. right down in the area there. Yep, I've right been there. That's, that's actually really good. Really good. So basically, it's an entire day. Um, whole family can go, enjoy everything. Especially, I mean, if you like cars, that's a huge bonus. Because oh, yeah. there's going to be so many cool cars to look at. Yep. Um, one of the things we were, we were briefly talking about is what our favorite cars were uh, before we were off camera. Uh, and we, we both agree on one of his. So why don't you tell everybody what your favorite classic car? So that's what we're talking car show. What's your favorite classic car? Classic would be definitely a, a well put together Chevelle. So definitely a, a GM guy and big, nice, fat body with a nice motor in it. That's, that's definitely my favorite. And this motor that is you know, being raffled would be perfect in one of those. Oh, maybe more than perfect. It's a nice upgrade or a nice whatever you want to do with it, but would fit perfectly in that car and will definitely get you down the road quicker than you thought you were going to go. Oh, yeah. That 70, 72 Chevelle, some gorgeous body style. Love those. Um, I like, one of my favorites was like a 70 Mustang. Okay. Um, we got the head, the square headlights, little slots on each side. Those always look good. One of the boss, something like that. Uh, but I do, I do love all those old classic cars. One of my really good buddies um, had a '68 Galaxy 500 when we were kids, and he still has it. Oh wow! Uh, 390 with a six-pack on it. I mean, that thing. We always drove the speed limit in. Always. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Things you do when you were kids. I mean, that crate motor will even go nice in that Ford. I mean, just kind of make sure you know do what you got to do to the tranny, but you'll be good to go. You know, there's a lot of guys that do put GM motors in all sorts of the classic ones just because it's just one heck of a solid motor. Oh, yeah. Solid, solid crate motor. Top and, performance. And the parts are billions of dollars, so oh. it makes a ton of sense. Yep. I'm super excited for this. Um, obviously, you know, raising the money for the kids like that is close to what the Cunis believes into, which is why we we're just thrilled to jump in uh, and be part of that. And we plan on being part of this for years and years to come. Uh, it's awesome that, you know, Manders, where you actually work, uh, is jumping in and doing a lot of things with that too. And then just the fact that, you know, you have a heart to, you know, personally to jump in and, you know, work with a group like the Lions and that's all they want to do, right? Yeah. Not it, taking a profit for themselves, just how do we help? But I just love that. How do we help? Exactly. It's it's great for two Christian organization companies to, to come together to really come through on a huge sponsorship, being main sponsors and giving to one solid cause. Yeah. So. And just be there and help people. That's what we're supposed to do. So absolutely fantastic. Okay. You awesome. got the food part in. Thank, Thank you. you that. Thank you guys. Come to the show August twenty fifth. The address is Waterford Town Park, right off Highway one sixty four. And uh you can't miss the signs. You'll see them everywhere. And once again, the email, or the the website is lionscharitycarshow.com. Lionscharitycarshow.com. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you. Perfect. 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 Perfect.